I don't really remember. Shit, 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 shit. Wait, did we take a loan just now? Oh, we took two loans already. Yeah, we're paying a lot of ducats right now. so bad. Oh wow, it's not even that big of a problem. Let's go siege up Denmark. And then we'll bring a navy over to go deal with the Frisians. So they're a bit of a problem if they're going to occupy my uh, my land. You're going to go full Greece mode again? No, I'm not going to go full Greece mode. There's no need for me to go full Greece mode in this instance. That's my third loan in this entire playthrough so far. So. And I doubt we're going to need to go full grease mode. Two active cardinals, let's do that. Pick that button. I like that button. I like that button quite a bit. More navy tradition, don't mind if I do. Alright. Put this shit ready to go. Let me get myself a. Uh, 9,000 of these. And ship them over to uh, Zeeland. So we gotta go take care of the Dutch. First, that's like the uh, main priority here. Okay, so I need 2,000 dudes in Utrecht. And 2,000 in Friesland. And then I need a, a fuckload in thingy mobiles. So let's get more guys ready to go into thingy mobiles. So wasn't this his capital? Oh, it's not his capital. Where did he move his capital? Oh, he moved it to Shkana. Excellent. Hi, dude. Are you going to colonize? Yes. I, uh, I, the Norwegian ideas give you a colonist and an explorer for free. So we will colonize. Also, just go into Zeeland. Uh, let's see here. Arvid Andersen. Go over to Friesland. One or two in Utrecht, and we want more guys in Holland. Now we'll see what gives us um, how bad this is going to be, um, aggressive expansion-wise. Gonna have to need to check it out though. Your mouth is below the screen. Thank you for pointing that out.
Now walk faster, damn it. For some reason, Friesland will be willing to be south. I really want to take out Friesland because it's the only chance I really have to take out, take those out. No, Arvid Anderson, you gotta stay here, man. Ugh, just do that. We got enough men. And we got lazy diplomats. I'm aware of that. Yeah, it looks like this war won't last a whole lot longer. And suddenly we're making money. Is Genua losing the Crimea War now? Ah, they're back to losing it again. That's that's nice. Okay, and got Utrecht down. We're definitely not going to take Utrecht. Because we didn't set them as a gold belligerent, and they're not f uh, a free city, so I really don't don't give a shit. What we'll do, though, is uh, a little something-something called annul your treaties with all these fine folks, give me war rep, and give me your ducats. And give up your claims in the places. There you go. Now we no longer need access through uh, Brabant, there's no, uh, no real reason to, so we can just go ahead and cancel that. We can cancel access through Vernon as well, and uh, the Hansa. Novgaber wants me to piece them out, what, why, why in the... Oh wow, we've sieged up their capital, oh this should be good. This should be good. Well, war up, dude. I uh, want you to annul your lion now. I mean, I guess we can. Dockets. <clears throat> oh, let's pay back the loans first. Alright, now, if, uh, well, we'll check later, after we've sieged up Friesland, how bad it's gonna be. Win that. That's fine. Okay, so let's clear the offer. How bad would it be if I took Friesland right now? Fifteen point two. Okay, and if I sub peace Friesland, fifteen point two. Okay, and if I were to take a province from Holland, ten point six. And if I were to take a province from Holland in this deal, 10.6. Okay, so we're definitely going to separate peace. I don't want to take Friesland. We're definitely going to separate peace. Holland will take Holland itself. It has less development, so we won't take a uh, more aggressive expansion. But it's a much better province because it has a fort. That's the one. And it has a, a coastal thing and that thing. So it's... Uh, it's a much better province. I really want to take fucking Holland, right? We'll take Friesland some other time. It's a fucking useless province. It has a lot of development, but other than that, it's just a useless fucking province. It doesn't. It's not worth the aggressive expansion that it gives me, right? So, 
And I want to take Holland because I want to get into the English Channel trade node. Because money. Money will buy the mercs I need to fight any coalition. So. There is that. So Sweden looks like it uh, shrank a little bit. That's nice. Does Arvid Arneson have more siege? More siege than this guy? No. They both have an equal amount of siege. So then we'll set a peace freeze land because there's no... There's no real reason to, uh, to not do so. Hold on. There you go. Lines, uh, can't be arsed with Leinster. What I can be arsed with though is building another one of those marketplaces in in Hamburg. There you go. And where would I build these? Basically all of these buildings are crap, but Akershus is the best one out of all of them. So we'll build it in Akershus. Oh, Holland would arguably be a lot better. Of course I wouldn't... No, Akershus would be better. So, Holland! Baby, dear! Now let's see how bad this is going to be. Oh my god, that is a very big fucking list. One and twenty-eight aggressive expansion with a hundred and four countries. Wow. I'm stupid. I'm so fucking dumb. I don't know why I did that. Oh boy, I'm gonna get so bum rolled now. Uh, whatever. Denmark! One more claims. No, oh, what? As if he wouldn't accept this. Ha <laughs> ha! This guy is so funny. I want to be able to walk around. So, take this as well. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh man, the aggressive expansion is fucking insane. I'm not entirely sure what to think here. Autonomy cannot be decreased while at war. That's new. Okay, well, whatever. I've got 10% of the trade power here now. That's pretty fucking amazing. 10% with just this one province. You're playing on a hard or normal difficulty? I'm playing on normal difficulty, but this is uh, the latest patch with in which, which which increases aggressive expansion.
Now, I don't like messing with the difficulty buttons. There was a guy on the... On the forums, he posted a... Um, a world Conquest as the Ottomans by 1648, no, 1686. Uh, one tag, World Conquest too, but he, um... Which is really impressive, but he, um... What was I gonna say? He played on easy difficulty, so he got 25% core cost reduction, and, uh... <laughs> Reduced aggressive expansion and less rebels, etc. etc. Pretty sick stuff. Taxation. I feel like this is a bit of a useless building, though, isn't it? Yeah, this building is fucking useless, unless you're in. Unless you're in Italy. But this one! This one, though. I'm liking me this, this thing. At least Frigia seems to want one of those things. So so does Vastar Goodland. Ah, Denmark. Why do you have to be such an ass? Okay, how about now? Do you accept my deal? Oh, you do. Europe certainly doesn't, though. Wow. Wow. Feel like I should not make this deal. Oh, no, no. Well, you know, it's not that bad. I'm like right on the edge, like Oh, uh, let's just take my claims. This is still real risky, though. Certainly want to humiliate him. Not humiliating him would be a grave mistake. Also, we've got shit in uh, Hanover that we need to take care of, so... Hopefully those will fire and Poland's gonna be like, okay, I'll go ahead and deal with that. Yeah, Skana is pretty big. If you take Skana, you can fabricate on Stetten, which is uh, another one of those important, important trade provinces. So. That too will be the end. Well, I don't know. This time I've got Austria. Poland and uh, France's allies, right? So. I need to at least start picking up these guys to deal with the Lubeckians. Okay, but that's pretty sweet. Ah. Got the Siege of Gotland down. Until we get call for peace, I'm not going to peace out. For a simple reason of let, let's let the aggressive expansion drop down a little bit. There's no reason to piece this out right now. I've got all the trade power that it holds. I gain income from these provinces, even if it's only a little bit, and it's just uh, pretty good stuff overall. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fucking piece them out right now.
Now, it's not impossible to handle, you just have to handle it using managing truce times. But that's difficult, unless you, you're strong. But they made it so that you can't really, um... You can't really expand really fast early anyway, because it's the uh, coring costs. So, in that regard, it might be better to pick up Thingy first. Um, might be better to pick up uh, Influence first, still. I mean, again. Nah, this one will be that bad. Luxembourg, let's let's check the bottom ones, right? Nuremberg, negative 15. If we peace out, the moment we get called for peace, which is in... Well, really soon. But if we wait until the end of this year... Then the bottom ones on this on that list won't join, cause uh, cause they can't. Now let's improve relations with the big countries in the HRE, like Saxony and that guy. If we improve relations with those, then we should be good. Missionary strength is useless to me right now. <laughs> yes, finally Norwegian wood. Uh, too bad about me not getting a level one advisor. That's kind of shit. Oh wow. Dig Gotland allows you to fabricate on most of the Baltic coast. That is true. That is true. I still don't want that though, because I haven't done a claim on it. And aggressive expansion is bad enough as it is. We're just gonna wait until the end of the month. I mean, end of the year, and then we'll peace out. I never started coring Holland. <sighs> of course, waiting until the end of the year is going to drop down my prestige a little bit. But no more than... Uh, Not more than the gain I'm going to get, I think. Okay. So let's get these diplomats out of here. Yeah. Now there is going to be a coalition now, but it's not going to be that big. Hey, it's not going to be the biggest thing ever. Scana isn't very important. I will keep the fort, though, but we will raise autonomy. Nordic land's kind of shit, that's kind of shit, and that thing's kind of shit. Holland is bad shit and saying good, so we're going to lower it there. And I think I need more cogs to be able to move my army around so I can find and kill the rebels when they spawn wherever they they might spawn okay, so let's see what's gonna fire first I think it's probably gonna be the Dutch oh what fuck off dude 
unlawful territory. This guy is the fucking emperor, but he can't join a coalition against me. Ah, uh, well, no, no shit, that's not true. Now he can. So we better improve relations with him fast. Sure, we'll accept. My, those are expensive. Aren't they supposed to be, like, a lot cheaper for me? Oh, no, it's light ships. Still, this isn't good, though. Well, I wish you bastards good luck. Fighting me, France, Poland, and Austria. Okay, let's check uh, revolt risk, Dutch separatism. Okay. Can you develop Adgar some? Actually, I'm gonna develop Acker's Hus. Wait, why would I do that? Oh, there was a place where I built that thing. Where is it? Ah, here! Yes. Didn't I also build that thing in Lubeck? What about Vestergutland? Arcturus? There you go. I don't know I don't know what the fuck that did, but it did something. <laughs> yeah, let's develop Atgar some more. There you go. <laughs> uh. Yeah, coalition isn't gonna be that bad. Pretty sure. And since Bohemia didn't enter and they cannot enter anymore. No, 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 no. Bohemia, we gotta keep improving relations with, because they might just do something else. Sucks that I can't get proper advisors though, that's kind of terrible. Also, can you like actually protect your trade in Lubeck? Also, well, how much trade power have I got in Lubeck by, by now? I got 58%, and I'm not collecting from trade here. We should totally go do that. Now I think, I think if I sent these guys to the English Channel, I'll make more money than sending them to that, to Lubeck. But let, let's check. Right now I'm making 8.61. Now I'm making 7. Yeah, but it's because these ships didn't arrive. Also, I'm overextended. Let me just check now that the ships are in there. 8.61 is what we were making. Now I'm making 8.19. Okay, so what if I tell my ships then? To go over to Lubeck. Making 8.19. 8.41. Something. And we're still making 8.6 something. Well, I don't know what the fuck. 
I do know that we're going to have to raise army maintenance and start shipping my army over to uh, Amsterdam. Let's be careful with this. Not slip our fingers. We could just get a whole bunch of swimming soldiers if we do that. Gotta keep improving relations with people.